this video is a multi-part series of the paging section of the web data grid now what we'll cover in this particular section is uh, doing more customization to the paging template so I have a, I have a very simple grid uh, bound to a Northwind database uh, regular customer table and all that what I'll do is I'll, I'll start with edit behavior I'll go to paging section and I'll just enable paging and say apply ok and after that we already have the paging section here I'll go to edit template so inside the edit template what we do is uh, we put in buttons and combo boxes and all that but this time I'm gonna put a web slider now it might feel a little strange to have a web slider in there but it looks good and the UX is also pretty good so I, I thought of making a video of that so I'll start with 0 and uh, my max value is 12 so you can have the uh, minimum value as 0 and the maximum value uh, you can take it directly from the uh, grid you know maximum page size but I'm just putting it 12 for this particular video and I want 100% taking up the width of the grid itself so 100% down here and uh, since we are going to collect value from the slider uh, we would need it as int so the value type goes as int and I would need some snapping so uh, snap to small change so I'll say true on that and uh, I think that is uh, that is good enough uh, for this side of it what we'll do is uh, we'll go and edit template and uh, you can already see the grid looks a little now uh, time for some coding so let's uh, go into the source of it so here is a script I'll just drop that so this script is pretty easy it is just a web slider value changed event and uh, we'll take it, take the arguments from the E and uh, from the E we'll get new value so what we're doing is from the slider we're getting the new value where the slider has uh, pointed up so that new value is going to go and put it inside the page index value of the grid so we are getting the web grid uh, from the find control and uh, grid dot get behaviors from paging and the page index set to the new value so it's a very simple thing uh, it's not even a line of code I believe so this is just getting the grid getting the new value and setting it that's it so uh, what I'll do is I'll just take the name of this one and we'll go to the template and uh, here it is so we have the web slider template here and inside that I have all the client side events now in the client events we wanted the value changed event so I just go to value changed event equals to the event that I want to fire and uh, wondering what next uh, I think everything is good enough so this is all we really need to do I mean everything is on the client side we are not doing anything uh, on the code behind the code behind is just left as it is so one change here one change there and we just fire it and see if it works I hope I have not forgotten anything to show here we go so I have the grid and I go next page so you can see if I go next and next I'm changing the uh, page so I can also drag and leave it and go to a certain page I can also click directly onto a certain page I can go next and go back and my grid would keep changing so a very simple demonstration of multiple controls put in together to uh, have the functionality of paging in a complete different way I hope you like the short demo and uh, I hope you catch up with other videos also. Thank you. Infragistics on the web at infragistics.com.